Good morning. It's Paul here down at the local football park, just near the swimming pool and near our home. Found a seat here and a little bit of sunlight to bring you a word from the book of Numbers out of the Old Testament from the NIV and it's from Numbers chapter 11. It's a story about quail that came from God. From verse number 4. The rabble with them began to crave other food. And again the Israelites started wailing and said, If only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no cost. Also the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now we have lost our appetite. We never see anything but this manna. They were being fed manna daily from the Lord. The manna was like coriander seed and looked like resin. The people went around gathering it and then ground it in a hand mill or crushed it in a mortar. They cooked it in a pot or made it into loaves and it tasted like something made with olive oil. When the dew settled on the camp at night, the manna also came down. So it came from God, sent from heaven. Verse 18, tell the people, consecrate yourselves in preparation for tomorrow when we will eat meat. The Lord heard you when you wailed. If only we had meat to eat, we were better off in Egypt. Now the Lord will give you meat and you will eat it. You will not eat it for just one day or two days or five, ten or twenty days, but for a whole month until it comes out of your nostrils and you loathe it. Because you have rejected the Lord who is among you and have wailed before him, saying, Why did we ever leave Egypt? But Moses said, Here I am among 600,000 men on foot, and you say I will give them meat to eat for a whole month. Would they have enough if flocks and herds were slaughtered for them? Would they have enough if all the fish in the sea were caught for them? Verse 22, the Lord answered Moses, Is the Lord's arm too short? Now you will see whether or not what I say will come true for you. Here is uh, the Lord saying to Moses, Don't doubt me. My arm is not too short. I can do what I say. So Moses went out and told the people what the Lord had said. Verse 31, now a wind went out from the Lord and drove quail in from the sea. It scattered them up to two cubits, that's about three feet, deep all around the camp, as far as the day's walk in any direction. All that day and night and all the next day the people went out and gathered quail. No one gathered less than ten homers, that's about one and three quarters of a tonne. Then they spread them out all over around the camp. But while the meat was still between their teeth and before it could be consumed, the anger of the Lord burned against the people and he struck them with a severe plague. Therefore the place was named Kibroth Hatavar because there they buried the people who had craved other food. And Kibroth Hatavar means graves of craving. And I guess uh, many people uh, suffer from this in, in the modern day and age when they crave drugs, for example, or crave alcohol. It will eventually strike them with a, an addiction which will lead them into the grave. Graves of craving. Some people eat too much food. And uh, we need to really watch what we crave for. Hallelujah. There's a little story out of the book of Numbers 11. You get into the Word and let the Word get into you and go and tell others what God has done for you. Hallelujah.